achieving my dreams and reaching my goals. My journey with autism has been an amazing journey. I said my first word, mommy, in nine months. When I reached 18 months, I lost the ability to have eye contact. I went from being able to say mommy to only mum, mum. And I, from age two to age 15, I was in intensive speech therapy, learned the ability to be able to say TH and L words. When I was seven years old, the school experts wanted to label me emotionally impaired. And my mom said it's not emotional, but neurological. And if you can't tell me what's going in, on in my son's head, I'll have him tested and come back to you and tell you exactly what it is. She had testing done at Henry Ford Hospital, and it came back that it was autism. And when I was diagnosed in 1982 with autism, only 1 in 10,000 children was diagnosed with autism. Now it's 1 in 68. The school experts told my parents I'd never read beyond the 7th grade level. I never attend college, I never have meaningful relationships, and I never excel in sports. My mom was determined to prove the experts wrong. She quit her job as an art teacher and became a full-time Ron teacher. She decided to use the gifts inside me and help them to develop to help me be successful and be independent. Through her help, I was able to graduate from college with a 3.9 grade point average with degrees in psychology and theology from Oral Roberts University and a Master of Divinity with a perfect 4.0 grade point average. I got married on December 7th, which is the anniversary of Pearl Harbor four years ago. And I like to say, getting married on the anniversary of Pearl Harbor, having autism, I came in to the new family like a kamikaze, a whirlwind of fire. And on March 20th, I became a dad of Michaela Marie. And April 5th, Charisma House published my book, A Parent's Guide to Autism, Practical Advice, Biblical Wisdom, which is already becoming a best-selling book. And it helps parents who have children like me to help their child live their dreams.